Today we are going to review Hippo Tricks Hippo Seasons and this is Zachary and he's going to help me test it out. Hi Zach. Hi. You ready? Yes. Let's see what this is. I don't like this one. I like this one. I played with this app a little bit before Zachary did. And I think there's some good features that you could build on, like this one here. I mean, they enjoyed this one, and I think it could be added like for other things like racetrack, maybe even a horse, race horse, where you could go around the racetrack or around the horse track. Anything else, Zach? What else? Motorcycle on a... Yeah, you could ride a motorcycle. Like a dirt bike type thing? Dirt bike. Um, with the mountain you climb up. In the mountain climb up. As far as the snowball one, it's pretty hard. It's it was hard for us to get the snowball to move, and we'll show you that in a second. But did they do? They like this one where to you can draw a line all over. Dig your finger all over, like draw a squiggly. And if you see the line, it'll follow all the lines that you draw. So I think this would be an awesome building block to do, like I said, racetrack, horse track, any, something like that, that would really entertain the kids. Okay, go back and show them, show them the other ones. The yes. snowball one, I, I just, I don't know if it's my iPad, but the snowball is really difficult to get to move. Do the footprints. If you touch it, it'll do footprints. That's that's neat. So, yeah. Like I said, I don't know if it's the iPad because we did have the screen replaced because it was broken and Hold on. Try yeah. But it works fine on the other one, so um I don't know if it's just if it's just a snowball screen that it's really difficult to get the snowball to move. It's not my iPad. I had to really work at it to get it to go. Yeah, like I'm doing it right now. Now it does reveal, like when you take away everything, it reveals you squares along the edge. And I played with it and I still don't understand what the squares are for. Maybe the developer can elaborate on that and help us out on what exactly the squares are for but it plays music as you move your finger along and touch the screen okay do the leaves flowers. Oh, okay the flowers and this one you can touch and you'll see the water ripples and if you keep doing it it'll expose the grass and then some flowers will start coming up and the flowers are musical. Now take your finger away and listen. It plays a song after you're done. I mean, I wouldn't categorize it as an educational game. It's more like a just for fun game. But the little ones would probably enjoy because they can just touch and play and have a good time. I just, I think it could be improved. I think there's a lot of building blocks here that we c they could work on. And I don't get the leaves. Yeah. Did they make music? Maybe they make music. We'll go back and try it again. Go back. He likes to spin the, the pinwheel. That's you, Go back to the, go back here. Touch these. Okay, they make noise. 
I guess there was other music playing before I didn't even notice it. So as you touch the squares, they, they make noise. Okay, so we know what the squares do unless it does it all over the place. Well, it seems to make noise everywhere you touch. Is it different? It does seem to give you different noises. So I guess that's what the squares are for. I guess they make noise as you touch them. But they do like the tractor and even I like the tractor. It's that's a neat little one. And we like to spin the pinwheel. Capital M. Capital M. There you go. Now you're lose, using it for learning. Good job. Well, okay, well, I think it'd be a good, you know, app for a young child, which is what it's mainly for, like two to seven. So, but that's Hippo Tricks, Hippo Seasons, and this is Zachary, and he was kind enough to help me out tonight since the three-year-old is in bed already. So, thank you, Zachary. You're welcome. All right. So, bye.